Hello and welcome to Lightwaves by Totterbird. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us is the Cyan Sky P25 version 2. This is a 21700 powered, everyday carry, high performance tactical flashlight. This particular version, the Pale Silver, is available for $96 at AliExpress and the black model is 87. You can also shop on their website. For this model, it's $99.95 and the black one's $89.95. And I'll explain the two differences in the finishes. Links below if you like this flashlight. I call it Greater Flood for a reason. It's pretty amazing. So here's the box everything comes in. Uh, their claim to fame for the version 2 is the 3600 lumen output. They changed the button style. Kind of nice. This one has the micro arc oxidation processing surface, so MAO they call it. It's supposed to be better than the traditional Type 3 hard anodized finish. I thought I'd give it a go. It's got an eco mode, strobe, SOS, all metal design. There you go, they got mounting accessories and remote switch accessories. Awesome. And then, uh, yeah, over here you saw some of the information. Uh, it's 208 meters, so it's kind of more of a flood, of course. It's not a uh, thrower. And then here we have 80 hour runtime max on low. We got some basic bullet points there. And on that side, there you go. And on the back here, you have a handy dandy chart. <laughs> Technical parameters, always like looking at those. The output, you can see right there, in case I missed something. You got low, medium, high, turbo, strobe, SOS, and eco modes. And run times correlating underneath there. Distances you can expect, and we'll go over these again. Get your waterproofing, impact resistance, and some dimensions again. We'll go over. There you are. Okay, so I took everything out of the box to make this easy, so let's go ahead and show you what you should get. Number one, you get the flashlight. Awesome! <laughs> I'm going to zoom this down. All right. Uh, you get a little holster. Nice. And this holster is their name on it, I think. I think I saw their name. There it is, Science Guy. Pretty basic, simple. Uh, very slim design, which I like about this flashlight. Being a 21700 battery, uh, usually they're bigger, fatter flashlights, but this one is not. Uh, you get a Type C to USB, very standard charging cable, nice. They give you some extra accessories, a lanyard, extra tail uh, cap, that's nice to have in case yours wears out, and some extra O rings in there. Okay, always handy. Paperwork looks pretty basic here. Um, I can't read that. There, we can read this. <laughs> Warranty card, there you go. 15 day replacement, five year repair. Okay, that's cool. So there you are, there's our information. And then of course we have the manual, which I think pretty much goes over what we just saw on the box. For your technical parameters, there's a little paragraph you want to stop and read that, up to you. I just put this here for posterity. I like how they show the discharging curve for the light. It has a constant current, uh, which is great for RFI. There's no RFI on this flashlight, which I'll try to demonstrate. But there you go, turbo, it drops off pretty quick because it gets hot fairly fast. So keep that in mind. Some product features there. You want to pause and read those. I'm just doing this again. If you lose your manual, you'll have it all here. I'll try to cover the modes. There you go. And then opening this further. Yeah, they got a battery level indication now, which is nice on that switch. It's got a green and red LED. Low voltage warning. Nice. And it does have some protections for thermal. So you don't burn yourself, but still be careful because like I was holding it. And it does get rather warm. And I think this side here, let's see if there's anything else. I think it's in different language. Yep, okay. So we're done with the manual. Let's get to the flashlight. All right. So yeah, here it is. The version two, and I have the version one. There we go. You probably remember this one, the Great Flood. Uh, amazing flashlight in itself. I believe it was like 30, I want to say 3,200 lumens or 3,000 lumens, right around there. So they boosted the output using a little bit uh, better LED just to step up. So there is the difference there. Let's go over dimensions and then we'll do another size comparison. So for length, we have five and three quarter inches or 146 millimeters. So not bad, I have smaller hands, but this is perfect. Um, it's smaller, feels almost like an everyday carry 18650. It's just a little wider, but not bad. Easy control for the switch here if you're changing modes. And of course your tail switch there, but we'll go over that in a little bit. Uh, the head diameter, we have a one and one eighth of an inch or uh, 28 millimeters, and a tail diameter, 
one inch or 25 millimeters. So pretty simple there. Let's go ahead and uh, do a little size comparison. Now weight, you can expect this to weigh uh, 98 grams without the battery and about 171 width. So let's uh, bring in an 18650. Here's a through night uh, standard carry. So you get an idea. Okay, yeah, you give up an inch or so, but there you are. Almost the same width. Okay. Next we have an 18650 battery. Again, to give you an idea for scale, over here we have a 21700. There you go. This is the same battery they use inside this flashlight. Uh, type C rechargeable, 5000 milliamp hour. It's the same exact one. There you go, just so you know. Try to keep it from rolling. All right. And then for a competition, we have the Claris. This is the XT 21C, same uh, battery power. Um, it's got uh, the flood as well. And it floods really nice because it's got this larger head diameter to it. Um, you kind of sacrifice some carry for that. So there are some balance issues like, do you want something wider or narrower? And we'll go over that a little bit. So there we are, there's a good size comparison. All right, so let's go over features of the new V2 P25. Yeah, looking nice. I love this treatment on this, by the way. It's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna bring this downtown here, okay. So the front, the business end, uh, it's a double-sided tempered glass lens uh, coated with anti-reflective material. It's uh, You can see it's got a purplish hue to it. Our reflector is a orange peel reflector and uh, to provide some nice spill and flood. And then down there we have our LED. Uh, it's a Cree XHP 70.3 uh, in cool white. Not bad, liking that. Now uh, this body is your typical 6061 T6 aircraft grade aluminum with a really cool treatment. This is the micro arc oxidation treatment. Uh, it's done with a different process versus the normal hard anodized finishing process. And this gives you a better corrosion resistance and better uh, surface uh, abrasion resistance versus the standard uh, anodized finish. So just keep that in mind uh, when you're buying this one, you're spending 10 bucks extra for a really cool finish. I like it. It almost looks uh, like a ceramic finish and they make uh, notes to that. that it's, it's like a ceramic like finish. It's nice. Really cool. Um, it's the best part. <laughs> I just like the color. I saw this. I'm like, yeah, I got to have it. Uh, we got a titanium coated belt clip. Beautiful. Uh, what else do we have here? We got the tail switch. Um, this is nice, momentary to whatever you set it to, except one thing they changed on this flashlight. Uh, you don't get the turbo. So what it is is just click it on. So once you click it on, you just mode through. Uh, you have your low, medium, high. Okay. There we go, low, medium, high, turbo. Okay, so you can only get turbo from the mode switch. Now, when you go to turbo, there's turbo, turn off the light and actuate it. You're not getting turbo, you're actually getting high. So when I go to turbo, I have to use the mode switch to get the turbo. They did that for a safety reason. The older P25, you can set it to turbo. Let me just go ahead and show you. So I'll select it all the way up. This is the turbo for the P25. Turn it off, and now you have turbo for momentary. But for this one here, you can only get the high. And they did that because this got so hot that uh, you could burn yourself, and they were trying to do for safety reasons. Um, since there's no electronic lockout on these flashlights, uh, that's why they did that. So one caveat to this flashlight is you'll have 800 lumen uh, quick access, but you won't have access to the turbo. Just wanna make sure you know that. So back here we have our lanyard mounting points. Um, that's nice and handy. And of course, you saw how the battery was set up. It's the exact same battery that was on the table. It's got a nice big O-ring there, nice gold-plated connector. And of course, there's the same battery. And it's got like a, like a, what do you call it, centering for the positive terminal. So you can't use flat tops. Just got to use a protected button top. So it's got nice threads to it. You just got it on camera. It's got a nice spring. There we go. All right. So yeah, no RFI, which is great. Uh, constant driven uh, light source. I do like that. Um, so let's go over some modes real quick, and then we'll take this to, to the garage and outside. And you can see what this does, uh, you know, head to head against that Claris model. Um, so yeah, tail switch turns it on. Of course, some uh, mode changes it uh, from your low, medium, high, and turbo. And it remembers, again, 
low, medium, high, or eco. Now to get to the eco mode, um, turn this off, press the little mode, and then press the tail. Now we have eco mode. Cool thing about this is, if you turn it off, it remembers eco. So now we have this nice five, uh, I think it's five lumens, yeah, five lumen eco mode, all the time, momentary, or locked on. So that's really nice, and that's you know, 80 hours worth, I like that. And I'll show some pictures of that in the garage working. But uh, once you change it with the mode switch, you do lose it. It won't remember eco anymore. You gotta go back to the eco mode by press this button, and then the tail, and now you're back into eco. If I let go, it remembers eco, which is nice. So very handy to have, uh, I enjoy that. So you got the eco mode. Um, to get to the other modes, let me see here, we got quite a bit. Um, <laughs> to access the eco mode I just showed you, to access the strobe, uh, you uh, make sure this is on, and you hold this for one second, the mode switch, and it goes to strobe, one more second, and it goes to SOS, and of course you can single click to turn it off, to go back to normal mode. Again, hold it for a second, goes back to strobe, hold another second, and it goes to SOS again. So yeah, pretty simple to get to those modes, but you gotta use the mode switch, and the light has to be turned on with the tail switch. And of course, the only way to turn the light off, of course, is to hit the tail. There you are. So, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. IPX8 waterproof. Uh, it's fantastic. I talked to, I talked about the turbo setting being removed from the tail momentarily just because they're afraid that you could bump the tail, turn it on, and it could cook your pocket. So um, even with all the temperature regulations, things can fail, and I can see why they did that. Um, so yeah, uh, the, flat, the light flashlight will flash twice every three minutes when the voltage is low, plus this will be flashing red. Um, so when I turn this on, notice it's green. When it's red, it's time to charge. When it's flashing red, it's really time to charge. <laughs> it's ready to go. So um, definitely something to watch for. Uh, so yeah, I uh, showed you everything about that. So yeah, drop resistance uh, I talked about. And uh, yeah, the charging charging feature um, is really nice. It's uh, pretty, about a, I think a one amp charge is what I noticed when I was charging it. Though it, you could have better uh, charging results um, with the uh, battery depending, but yeah, that's what I was getting on these, you know, direct connection types. All right, and a little red light comes on the top and a little blue light when it's finished. So, simple. All right, so let's go to the garage and look at some pictures and some video outside. So here I'm in the garage, it's on turbo, lighting the whole place up at 3,600 lumens. <laughs> Expected to run about one minute before it throttles down. Yes, it gets very hot quickly. Um, and then the remainder of the time it runs at 1,000 lumens for two hours. It has a 208 meter throw. Now the flashlight's on high. This is 800 lumens. Expect a runtime of three hours and a throw of 30, or sorry, 97 meters. Nice. Now we're in usable modes, medium. This is 200 lumens. This is a great walking mode. Expect it to run 10 hours and have a throw of 49 meters. Now we're on low. This is 50 lumens. Expect a runtime of 25 hours and a throw of 24 meters. Low is one of my favorite settings I use all the time. And now we're on eco mode. You can make it out. Uh, this is five lumens, and this will last 80 hours. This is perfect for close desk work, um, small tent. This is just great to use all around in small areas. And I'll demonstrate that when we come back to the table. Now let's go outside and see this flashlight in action. Uh, we're going to go distances of 30 feet to 100 meters. And we're going to compare this against the Claris flashlight. Let's go check that out. Okay, I'm outside with the Cyan Sky P25 version 2. I'm going to start it out on turbo, 3600 lumens. Go down the walkway here. Archway is 30 feet. Tree to the left there is 40 feet. Tree behind the archway is 50 feet. There's a tree between these two, and it's 100 feet down range, which I think I can just pick me up. The stop sign is 100 meters. There are two pine trees and a gazebo there next to the stop sign, which is about 100 meters. So I'm going to bring this back down. Now we're going to go to high 800 lumens. We'll see if we can't get into focus. This is 800 lumens. To give you an idea what 800 lumens looks like. The trees. The walkway. There's the full 3600. Okay. Now we're going to switch over. We're going to get the Claris XT21C to compare it to. Its high is 3200 lumens. We'll bring it out. 
This is the Claris XT21C. There you go, you get an idea. Its range. It might exceed the Science Sky by a little bit. It has, a, I think, a narrower beam. It has a, Yeah, more of a spot beam to it. I'm going to go ahead and bring the P25 back in on turbo. Okay, so this is the P25. Make sure we're on turbo. Yep. And then here's the Claris. Claris has a more neutral color. Cyan sky or bluish tint. And then both together. Coming down the walkway here. All right. Okay, we're back to the table. Awesome. Yeah, good video with that compared to the Claris. Let's do a quick demo of this. So we'll just put this side by side. Get my deck of cards. There we go. Always nice to have there. Bring the Claris in. There we are. All right, so we'll turn these on. Okay, that's going to go instant turbo until I turn the mode down. We'll turn it on its low. Now its low is uh, three lumens, it looks like. Yeah, three, three lumens for 240 hours, which is amazing. It's about a $100 flashlight if you're wondering the cost uh, for the Claris model. Okay, and uh, yeah, just a little bit bigger and bulkier to carry. That's about its one caveat. But otherwise, it has a great beam pattern. This one here, let's go to Eco. So we'll turn it back off. There we go. Now we're on the five lumens. So we're both on the low settings. Let's go ahead and turn the lights off. This gives idea of the color at low power. So there we are. Definitely cool white on the cyan sky. It definitely has more of a flood. It's probably why I didn't have much throw in the video. Um, so you're getting more flood up close, which is I actually like. More neutral white on the Claris, as you can see on the left there. It's got more of a warmer tone to it versus the cooler white. There you are. Okay, so you get the idea. So I'm going to turn the Claris off. All right, let's go ahead and cycle through the um, Science Sky aimed at the ceiling. So now we're at low, 50 lumens, 200 lumens, 800 lumens, turbo, 360 lumens, of course, lighting the whole place up. Absolutely amazing. So we're going to cycle through again. So now we're doing four low, medium, high, turbo. Okay, and then we got our, see, we got our handy-handy radio. And no RFI. And even on low, we're, now our five lumens. No RFI, which is absolutely amazing. Perfect for tuning your radios. Awesome. So I don't know what they were playing there. That was pretty cool. <laughs> so there it is. I'll give you an idea. There's the five. I like that setting. The five lumens is really nice. Uh, and if we just step up here, let's find my... There we go. And then we go right up to low, which is 50 lumens. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, turn the lights back on. Do final thoughts on the Science Sky version 2. P25. All right. So yeah, looking at this flashlight, it's an investment uh, for sure. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Um, so yeah, people who watch my channel, they have shortwave radios like this. And these are good companions. Um, absolutely love it. Now, there isn't a radio I know that uses this battery type yet. But once they do, that'd be nice because then you can just take your battery out and put it in your radio or vice versa. Uh, until they do that, though, uh, this is just a great capacity uh, light that you'll want to have handy with you when you're outdoors or indoors. You know, if the power's out or if you just don't want to use lights, you just want to work in the dark. Uh, some people will do. Um, this is a really cool finish. I really like it uh, versus the, the all black all the time. Um, that's why I went with this at this uh, micro arc and oxidized finish. It's just really cool. Um, it uses more voltage. Uh, it's a better wear factor. So definitely uh, worthy. So when you're looking at the price and you're like, wow, it's Otterbert, that radio is 100 bucks and that flashlight's 100 bucks. What gives? Well, the flashlight's probably going to outlast the radio. I'll guarantee it. <laughs> All metal, this is plastic. You drop this, it's done. You drop this, it's probably going to survive. Um, use for another day. 
Uh, uses pretty much a standard battery you can replace, which is I'm glad to see. Uh, but yeah, definitely a good companion to any kind of shortwave activities you guys have. You know, I have tons of shortwave radios laying around, you know. Doesn't have to be sea crane. It can be a Texan. You guys know I like them all. <laughs> so there it is. The Science Sky version 2. Yeah, P25. Uh, the Greater Flood. I do like that. Um, is it worth uh, the same price as the Claris uh, XT21C? This is a great flashlight. I'll guarantee this Claris is just an amazing flashlight. But if you look at the carrying it every day, I think I'd like this in my pocket better. It's lighter. It's more narrow. You know, it's got a slimmer profile holster. Um, I, I would tend for this flashlight more uh, than this one. And then usability factor. This one's a little harder because, yeah, you got access to turbo right away, but you don't have access to a set mode, which I like. You can set the mode here. This is similar to some of the Through Night products. I do like that. So definitely gets my vote. This gets a, a vote over to Claris, but by a little margin because the Claris has a beam pattern I absolutely love. Just an amazing flashlight. That's one of my favorites as well. So there it is. The Science Sky P25 definitely gets a thumbs up. Links below. Check them out. Um, their website, if you if you want, Science Sky's website, uh, you'll spend just a few bucks more, or you can go to AliExpress if you're a fan. I'm not really a fan of AliExpress, but if you are, uh, those links will be there as well. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a big like if you did. If you like Science Sky flashlights, subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future ones. I like them. I've been collecting their entire line. Um, they're absolutely, they're just built well. Um, everything about them I like. Um, compared to my other ones, you know, Thurnites. So Fern, you know, it's definitely a premium to those. Um, it's right there with Claris and some of the bigger bigger names. So there it is. All right, guys. And of course, comment below what you think about the new Science Sky P25 uh, without the momentary turbo. Does that bother you? Um, or are you okay with the fact I did that for safety? The older P25, um, if it's still available and you want that turbo access, you can get it. But like I said, it's there's a danger factor, so be careful um, when you're using it but there is the older model as well. It's available. Um, I like both, to be honest with you. That's why I call this the Great Flood and this the Greater Flood. <laughs> so there you are. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.